So a few nights ago, I was sitting in the garden and this is what was my inspiration for today's class. If I could show you this, you're gonna say, how, how did you get anything from this? So in this picture, if you can see it, all right, if you come up close and see it, you will see shadows. So I was sitting in the garden, and if you want, you can see my shadow within the shadows of the plants. So my inspiration was the shadowing in the garden, okay? So that was my inspiration for this piece today. Now, as I was sitting there, I looked at the different shapes of the shadows. I wanted to become part of that shape. What I did was, so let's get moved back again. What I want you to do next is all we're doing today with the 30 minutes is talking about our axial space or the space around you, okay? So we're gonna start with the head. We've already started with some balancing. So now we're gonna start with the head, the neck, shoulders, arms, and your torso or your core. So the first thing I want you to do is roll your neck around I'm sorry, roll your head around, okay? Now, while you're doing that, feel the motion of your head. You are going and using the space around. I want you to drop your head forward, to the side, to the back, to the side, to the front, okay? So that's gonna be part of your journey today, your head with your neck. Now, while I'm talking, I want you to use your shoulders, okay? So in your space, just roll your shoulders back. Roll your shoulders back, roll them back, roll them back. Okay, so you're now using the space around your shoulders in a circular motion, okay? So do that for a little while. I want you to get your shoulders warmed up. So my inspiration came from sitting in a fire, looking out at the garden, at the lights, and the shadows. Then, all of a sudden, I look at color lights in the garden, and I think, wow, I'm actually on a journey. So I took this shadow, and I said, I am jumping in the hole like Alice in Wonderland, all right? And I'm going towards the colored lights. Well, for me, the colored lights, what did that represent? So as I sat there, I thought, oh my gosh, one of my favorite movies is Avatar. So I'm going towards the colorful, magnificent attraction of these lights. So that's part of the journey. So where I left you off was we're in Avatar with the color and everything around you and its brilliance and exciting. So what I want you to do next is you're gonna use your arms to keep you moving. I want your arms to move with a light energy to the right and the left, okay? Now, as you're doing that, let's add in the shoulders and try to add in the rolling of the head. Okay, so you're using your head, neck, shoulders, arms, all right? So the final part of our journey today, we happen to be making s'mores by the fire, okay? So in my crazy thought of this improv, the final part of our journey is you will be crossing a river of floating s'mores, all right? So we start in the plants in the darkness, through the hole, into Avatar, out across the s'mores river. And if you get across the river, you get to eat the s'mores. Okay, so now the final part of the axial is the space that you're in. All right, we're gonna have the space, you're gonna move through your space. So I want everyone to back up in your room to a corner. All right, so we're gonna walk in a forward direction. Okay, so I want you to go from A to B is direct. You're taking a direct line, okay? Once again, from where you are, A, pick a point A in your room and go from point A to point B, okay? That is a direct form, okay? From B to C is indirect. So as I go from B to C, I'm going to go here, over here. It's an indirect space, a form in the space. Your direction is indirect. Move all around the room and you can turn 
and I want you to stop in a different part of your room. Okay, so point A to point B is direct, point B to C is indirect. Now, your final space and direction is direct. So you go back to direct. So it goes direct, indirect, direct. But go back to a different part of your room. Okay? So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you what happens from A to B, B to C, okay? And you need to create your own improv. So from A to B, okay, your weight is heavy. It's heavy weight, okay? Heavy weight, you press into the ground. It's heavy weight, okay? Now, it's a, a heavy effort. You're punching. You're punching your way through the thick forest. So the idea is that it's heavy and very strong. It's a strong effort, okay? Heavy and strong, all right? So that's A to B, heavy to strong. Now, when you go from B to C, you are an avatar. You are experiencing the colors, the, the wonders, the curiosity. Everything around you is moving. It's lights. It's beautiful. If you've seen the movie Avatar, it is the most amazing movie of color, okay? With creatures and beauty and kindness and love and harmony. So that's the experience in your indirect. All around you, okay, as you're moving, you, your, your effort is light, okay? So it's a softness. You can have slow, sustained movements, okay? Now, slow and sustained. The first A to B is weight, okay, and strong. Second is light and sustained, okay? Now, from B to C, when you're in Avatar, okay, when I say stop, I want you to stop and pause, all right? Because from your next section to get out of Avatar across the river, you have to go into climbing a wall, okay? So this next section with your effort is strength. So again, you've got to climb the wall. You can climb a rock wall, you can climb through the vines. Anything you do, okay, you have to have that feeling of strength. So the power is, the, it's powerful, strength, okay? Maybe you're pressing, like you're doing weights, you're pressing up, pulling up, but it's strength, okay? Then once you get to the top of the wall, you have to cross the river of s'mores. Now, a lot of times people say, oh, you're, it's thick with marshmallows, right? Melted marshmallows. Well, picture a river of melted s'mores. You have marshmallow, chocolate, peanut butter, broken up graham crackers. There's a lot of good stuff happening, but it's very thick. So, all right, here you go. It's very slow. <clears throat> And you've really got to tend. There's a lot of tension because you are tensing your muscles for strength. Okay? When you get to, when you cross the river of s'mores, what happens? You can collapse because you've just gone on a journey. Okay? So I've given you some tools to improv this whole journey. Okay? I'm going to put on a piece of music. Now, as we're standing here, let's review it. The first part of your journey. Okay? Let's remember, you have a head to work with. Your neck is helping the head rotate. Maybe you drop the head, maybe you side it. Okay, six ways of your spine. You're gonna start with the neutral spine, okay? Then you have the side, okay, the lateral. Now you have a twist and a twist. And then remember, you will have a contraction. So the contraction is where you, it's the curvature of the spine pushing forward. Drop your chin to your chest, okay? So think of the six ways of the spine, how you use that with the axi axial space I gave you, and let yourself feel free, 
okay? So the first part of this, you are starting into the darkness. Here is your entrance right here. Use my inspiration. You do not know what's in that darkness, okay? A to B is through the darkness to the light. B to C is avatar, okay? C to D, you hit the wall, you climb the wall, and D to E is crossing the river of s'mores. Okay, is everybody ready? Because here we go, I'm gonna put on the music, all right? And I will tell you when to start. So everyone, feet, hip width, okay, neutral spine. You're gonna go, first is direct, avatar is indirect, the wall and the river is direct. Okay, here we go. I'll tell you when to start. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, go. Okay, you're crossing through the darkness. You're punching, there's tension, all right? It's power, tension. Maybe you're flicking. Pull them, pull aside, all right? Now you stop. Now you enter into Avatar, and here's where the lightness happens. All right, remember, indirect, you can turn, you can reach, all right? Reach through, there's color. Oh, look, there's a beautiful butterfly. Try to mimic what you see. Do you see a bird? You see a bird, use your arms. Use your spine, twist. Nice, nice, yes. Just let it go, you're in avatar. Everything is free and slow and the lights. Now you hit the wall. Now you have to climb. Climb, get out of there. Now you stop. Here's the fun part, crossing the river. Good, nice job. All right, and everyone, collapse. Nice. Very good. Okay, so let's stand up. All right. So that was the first journey, okay? You've got the tools in your bag. I've given you tools to work with, all right? So everyone stand up, okay? Now, here's what's gonna happen. The first part, same thing. When you get into Avatar, here's your challenge. You can only be on one foot balancing while you do the improv movements, okay? So the first part of the journey, you are punching, your strength. The second part of the journey, when you're in this brilliant cave of color and light and creatures, you can only be on one leg balancing, okay? Go side to side. You can use your leg any way you want. This is something you would do when you're on the ice, of course, okay? In the improv, your legs will become part of the spatial creation. But here on the floor, just try to balance. If you're comfortable and you wanna do it, if you wanna do a spiral, bend anything that you feel comfortable with, bring your legs into the space, okay? Then, when you climb over the rock wall or the wall of vines, also be on one foot at a time, okay? This is where you can acknowledge your neutral spine for balance. So when you're on that wall, maybe you try to reach over there and over there. And lastly, let's not forget the spinal positions, right? Maybe you go lateral or uh, side link. Maybe you twist behind you, right? So put all of those tools together and go bigger, okay? When you cross the river of s'mores, don't be afraid to try to backstroke and swim across the river. Okay, so if you want to get down on your floor and you want to backstroke, all right, there's where you're using the shoulders 
the shoulder roll with the arms, okay? Now, here's the last thing I want you to put in this journey. Levels, levels, all right? Levels. So maybe when you're an avatar, okay, you turn and you turn into Disney, and what you do is fall, and then you get up. And as you rise up, use your spine, twist, turn, whatever you want to do. Take yourself on this journey with levels. If you're in the river, river of s'mores and you want to go under for a mouthful of s'more, do it, okay? It's improv. Now, I'm giving this over to you. You know the journey. You know how free it is, all right? So let's do it again, all right? Take it as far as you can. You're in a safe space. It's an incredible journey. You've got all the tools you need, okay? Here we go, I'm gonna start it again. Neutral position. All right, now improv through this whole thing. Don't just walk up to it and be like, what is it? Should I go in? I'm going in. Power, power. All right, you're direct. Okay, you're pushing, you're punching, you're pressing. Star, strong gestures. All right, maybe you're chopping, chopping something. That's it. Good. All right, nice. Okay, now, now you find the entrance to Avatar. All right, go. Levels, softness. Light and airy, okay? Remember levels, level. And maybe you just see a butterfly. Mimic the butterfly. Arms, shoulders. You're almost floating, you're floating through an avatar. And all of a sudden you hit the wall. Now, Maybe you fall to the ground, go to a different level. Try to climb. Now look at my fingers. The energy I'm using. Up, rise, and there you go. There's the river. Wow, maybe you scoop down the river. Here's some more of the river. Cross that river, and maybe you get on the ground and do some backstroking. Nice. Very nice. Good. Awesome. Good job. And collapse. Everyone collapse. Very good. All right, good job, good job. All right, so let's everyone stand up, okay? Now, I've given you tools for improv, okay? My inspiration was basically sitting outside, watching the garden at night, and the shadows drew me in, okay? So sitting there, I'm like, if the shadows do that to me, everything else around me should be inspiration. So. When you go to do an improv, okay, I've given you a suitcase, I've given you some tools. What I want you to do is continue to fill that suitcase with tools, all right? So I encourage you, get on social media, find different artists that are doing workshops like this, grab tools from them and put it in your suitcase. Take it to the rink, we're going back to the rinks, we will get back there. You will, you will then learn that when you hear the word improv, you will be the first one on the ice ready to go, all right? You know that you have space. What is your direction in that space? You know that you have axial space around you. That's what you use with your arms, okay? So for me, I think what I learned about being an improv improvisational skater, most of what I do now is improv. I get on the ice and I prefer to listen to instrumental music because I want to create my own vision. So that's what I did by 
I just went outside to cook s'mores by the fire and sit outside that night because it was a beautiful night. And I came up with this really weird journey, but I was able to attach energy, effort, direction, and movement based on sitting by a fire making s'mores, right? And so a lot of my inspiration comes from nature and color, all right? So let's all stand up. I'm gonna give you a couple more tools before we say goodbye. I don't wanna say goodbye, but Kate and Garrett only gave me 30 minutes, so you can contact them. Just kidding, you guys. All right, so inspiration. Your effort, okay, is light. You need to use your head and shoulders only, all right? Head and shoulders only, light. And I want circular, okay? I want reaching, reaching, reaching. Feel the freedom of your shoulders through your neck into your head, all right? And just let it go, all right? Just side to side. Keep it very simple, but feel the energy move through your shoulders, your head, and of course your neck is assisting the head swaying, all right? Maybe your head will go in a circle. Maybe you drop your head forward, lean it back. Okay, now I want you to take one arm and let that arm be free. There's no muscle, there's no bone. It's just floating free, all right? Here I have a wave, look at the ripple. Here's my ripple through the water, okay? Now it's gonna go down, okay? Now your arm has an elbow and a wrist and fingers. Put that light, gentle feeling, that motion through every part of your arm all the way to your fingertips, okay? Now bring the other arm in. Feel the freedom, all right? Keep it moving free. Now I want you to pull your torso in, roll your hips around, let your head move around. Now I want you to turn around. Everything is rolling and turning, rolling and turning. Yes, okay. Now let's bring it with balance. Try to do that with balance. One leg, one leg, balance, balance, balance. Shift to the other leg, balance, balance. Balance, freedom up top, balance on the bottom, okay? You can still balance if you use a lateral spine, okay, or a twisting spine. Lateral or twist still gives you a sense of balance as long as you understand your axis of balance, okay? There you go. Now, everyone, I want you to neutral position, all right? Everyone, right or left leg in the air, I want you to do a spiral, just a spiral. Okay, leg up in a spiral. And I want you to try to do those axial positions while you're gliding in a spiral. Yes, yes. There you go. Nice. Very good. Okay, so when you take these tools on the ice, experiment them with a gliding position. Here's my favorite, spread eagles or Ina Bauer. Try to hit a spread eagle or Ina Bauer position on the ground right now, okay? Now, I want you to try to do that same feeling of freedom, your axial space, which is your torso and above, your legs are planted in the ice in a gliding position, and try to let your body move freely, shoulders, head, Roll with the neck, let the arm. You know how to balance on your skates. Bring this movement in as an improv, okay? You cannot, you cannot go to the ice with a choreographed improv program. Improvisation is on the moment, in the moment, okay? So here's your homework. You've got a suitcase I've given you, your suitcase of improv. Your homework is go outside, look at nature, watch a bird, Look at a tree, okay? Look at grass swaying in the wind. Get inspired by what's around you. We've had a lot of time at home and to be outdoors in good weather, if your weather's good where you live. Try to draw inspiration on that because I'm telling you, it's so amazing that it's free, it's all around you. And think about it. I know every day over the past two months, I get a little emotional because I've been improv through every day through every day. Even in the kitchen, as crazy as this sounds, when I go to get a cup of coffee, 
I don't just go to get a cup of coffee. I reach for that pot. I reach for the pot. I pull it. I pour it. I present it. Every day of my life for the past two months, I have been creating improv around the house because otherwise, you know, I can't look at four walls, three dogs, a partner, and not be creative. So I challenge you all. This is what I'd love you to do. Go outside, look at something and get inspired for your journey, okay? And put those tools in your pace. Bring it to the rink when we get back there because we will get back there and get out there and just let yourself go, all right? I think my time's up. You guys, that was great. That was really, does anybody have any questions? Do, do we open up for questions, Garrett? Sure, if you have any questions, feel free to. Uh, yeah. Also, okay. For any, everyone share your improv with um, hashtag AI. Yes. yes, that's my closing line. So if, if you do this homework, which I hope you will, trust me, you will not believe. And if I guarantee you all, when you're sitting at a fire making s'mores, you're gonna remember this workshop, okay? You're gonna remember the river of s'mores, <laughs> trust me. Because when I said it to Paul sitting next to me, he said, what's a river of s'mores? I said, it's a river full of what I love the most, <laughs> river of s'mores. That would be my dream come true, right? So when you're making s'mores, think of me, think of this workshop, think of American Ice Theater, go get inspired, hashtag American Ice Theater, okay? That's where you wanna post your improv videos. Do it, trust me, do it, okay? Direct, indirect combos. levels. I'm sorry? Hashtag, hashtag. hashtag AIT combos. At, oh, sorry, hashtag AIT combos. Once again, hashtag AIT combos. Post them, post them, we wanna see them, all right? Bring your creativity. All right, everyone, stay safe, stay healthy, get out there and create, all right? Nice job. Thank you, John. Thank Bye. You. Thank Bye. you.